GMA cover story, General Hospital star John J. York's battle with two forms of cancer. The actor sat down with our Eva Pilgrim to talk about his diagnosis and his prognosis. Good morning again, Eva. Good morning again, y'all. John Jay says this was such a shock. He felt good. He felt healthy before they found the cancer. The doctor telling him despite that, with his diagnosis, he had just three to five years to live. But he's sharing some hopeful news first with us this morning. You think I'm a hero? John J. York opening up about his life-changing diagnosis. The last December of 22, I was diagnosed with myelodysplastic syndrome, or MDS, and multiple smoldering myeloma. For over three decades, Max Scorpio commanded the screen on General Hospital. And he's willing to do anything to get himself past the restraining order. And now this morning, York taking a step back from acting after what he calls a nuclear bomb that changed his life. You had no idea that anything was going on. No, not at all. None whatsoever. Myelodysplastic syndrome is a group of cancers in which immature blood cells in the bone marrow do not mature or become healthy blood cells. And smoldering multiple myeloma is a form of cancer in which abnormal plasma cells make too much of a single type of antibody. Over the past many months, I've had three bone marrow biopsies, many chemo treatments. I have another one coming up in a couple of weeks, and I'm closing in on a blood stem cell transplant. York says he has been working with Be The Match, which connects patients with a matching donor for a life-saving blood stem cell transplant. And this morning, first sharing with us some promising news. I believe they found a match, perfect match, which will make me cry. So we're going to start our testing and do all that kind of stuff uh, coming up here in, in about a week. And then I believe the transplant will happen, fingers crossed, in November. How big a deal is it that they found a match? It's a big deal. It's the biggest deal. Uh, many of my family members were tested, and most of them were 6 out of 12. Apparently, there's markers that have to be reached, so they were a good standby. Do you feel like this person's saving your life? Absolutely. Yeah. Saving my life. What would you say to that donor who saving your life? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you for saving my life, for letting me spend more time with wife and my daughter, my son-in-law and my grandchildren, seeing this beautiful blue sky and all the beautiful trees around me. That's what I would say. Initially, wanting to keep his diagnosis private, York now hoping to bring awareness to bone donor registries. The response has been overwhelming, overwhelming for me. If there's anybody out there that may want to be a donor, what a wonderful thing to be able to save someone's life. And John Jay, as you can see, was really emotional about the gift that he's been given. Grateful he gets more time to enjoy his life, his job, and his family. And for all the General Hospital fans, we talked to him at work. He is scheduling his shoot and work days around his doctor's visits. He says right now, he's feeling pretty good, guys. That's that great. is great. so great to hear, Eva. Thank you. We Either appreciate much. it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.